welcome to seven hours study with me on a rainy day a background noise a 10 minutes break no music neuroscience tips let me repeat the title again seven hours study with me on a rainy day a background noise 10 minutes break no music neuroscience tips okay my name again once again is adidayo ulumuywa i am a neuroscientist Sorry, I am an educational okay, neuroscientist. I am a lecturer. I'm also an international author. I've published about uh, six books. This is my second book. The first book is, uh, uh, I think it's actually titled Study to Stardom. Okay, my third book is, is titled the Blue, the Blue Sky Student. So I've written books. Okay, my recent book, uh, book is titled uh, Top Secrets for Acing All Exams. So uh, back to today's uh, topic. What I intend doing is just to Expatiate, okay, each property, okay, of the title. Okay, the first one has to do with seven hours study with me. Is it possible for one to just sit down, okay, for seven hours, okay, and start studying? Okay, it depends on uh, who you are really, okay, address, um, maybe uh, sending the question, okay, to. But there are strategies. Uh, there are research, okay, inspired strategies that one can really, okay, uh, employ, uh, that one can actually integrate in order to really achieve the seven hour study with me on a, a rainy day. And then the next question has to do with the background noise. Okay, there are some individuals, okay, who appreciate background noise. Okay, when I was still teaching in a secondary school, I think I asked my students, okay, what are their own learning styles? I remember that one of the most intelligent students, okay, in that class said she, 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 she absorbs, okay, and she understands, okay, better or more. Okay, whenever she has okay cool music okay at the background, I don't okay subscribe to that style. But what she has told me is not wrong. There are so many people out there who okay learn okay that way. So my advice to my listeners all over the world is that you just come down and look at the one that best suits okay your learning uh, lifestyle. Then the other one is uh, no music. Yes, some prefer music, while some don't really uh, prefer uh, music. Then the ten minutes break. The ten minutes break has to do with the fact that. Uh, there's a concept called uh, the Pomodoro method or the Pomodoro okay, technique. It is one of the uh, most uh, maybe accepted, okay, acceptable okay, learning techniques. Okay, it was invented by an Italian okay, management guru. He wanted to see okay, how he, he, he could in, uh, improve okay, Italian uh, uh, employees, their corporate workers, their productivity. So because of the success of the Pomodoro method or the Pomodoro technique, okay, the education experts, okay, the curr curriculum, okay, designers and others, they've decided to integrate it, okay, into the education sector. And today it is extremely effective, okay, based on research. It is effective based on, I, I practice it. And because of the, uh, the 10 minutes break, this is what I do. Whenever I read for like uh, 45 minutes, I try to do what, to take a uh, break for like 10 minutes. And during this 10 minutes, I don't do anything that is mentally de demanding. What I do simply is either I take coffee, and th this is my joke here. Okay, I take coffee, as, as you, you can see. Then at times, I might decide to either take a, a dark chocolate, okay, or I might decide to do what is referred to as intellectual rehydration. Okay, sim it simply means just taking water. As soon as you take water, do not forget, reading is a, is, is a stressful okay, activity. And when you take water, the neurons in your brains, Okay, they are called concept neurons. Okay, those neurons are re-energized. And after taking water, and after relaxing for like uh, 10 minutes, you can go back to your study. Then you go, do, when, you, when you get back to your study kind of uh, table, okay, you'll be more energized. Okay, the energy will be there for you to be able to really start studying and to study for like seven hours, if that is your goal. Then what is the neuroscience okay, be behind it? Yes, let me quickly share this uh, tip. In our brains, okay, we have about 86 to 100 billion neurons. And it is not all the neurons that are dedicated to learning or to reading. Or do not forget uh, that there are, there, there are populations of neurons called the concept neurons. Okay, these are neurons that are dedicated okay, singularly or solely to learning and to academic development. And whenever we are studying, in our brains, okay, this is an image okay, of the brain. Okay, this is the hippocampus here. This is the amygdala. Okay, this is the prefrontal cortex. Okay, in the prefrontal cortex, there are neurons there. Okay, there are neurons, okay, that, that are uh, distributed, okay, all over the, the brain. 
but this specific concept neurons, okay, they are in a, basically mainly, okay, they, they are located in the prefrontal okay, cortex. There are some, okay, in the hippocampus and other higher other okay, kind of uh, cortical areas in the brain. So uh, these concept neurons, okay, as soon as we practice the Pomodoro uh, kind of method or the Pomodoro uh, technique, these concept neurons help. Okay, to encode every new information that we come across in the course of our learning. And the more we practice Pomodoro technique, and the more we try to study for like seven hours, okay, these neurons keep, okay, uh, growing. Okay, their population, their population density, okay, expands. Okay, and as soon as they expand, there's something called neuro circuits or circuits. Okay, these are maps, cognitive maps, okay, in the brain that are dedicated to anything that we've mastered. So in the education sector too, we have what I call the educational neuro circuit. Okay, these are neuro circuits that, are, that, that contains what? Concept neurons. Okay, the more we read, the more we study, okay, the bigger, okay, this academic neuro circuit. So my advice to my listeners is this. It is possible for you to practice the seven hour study with me, okay, on a rainy day, and this will enhance and we expand your academic okay neuro circuit and it will make you okay improve your academic performance you will rise to become okay an intellectual giant or a topper in your class okay that is the idea that i said okay i should share with you so do not forget seven hours study with me on a rainy, rainy day is possible it has the capacity of doing what of enhancing okay academic neuroplasticity it has the capacity of expanding okay our what our academic uh, neuro circuit and it has finally it will make us become okay an intellectual or a cognitive and intellectual self celebrity okay in our class and in our schools on our camp campus etc uh, thank you so much for your time and because you've stayed with me to this moment i have a bonus for you i'm going to really send you the pdf version of my latest book the sixth book that i just told you about that is titled top secret for acing all exams in the world Please subscribe to my channel and drop a comment and add your email. I will read your comment and send the book to you. Thank you so much and I shall see you in the next video.